Hi, this is Lee Garrett, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. Every now and then, one of our members recommends an application to us that is just too good to resist. So kudos to Tim Stringer from Learn OmniFocus for bringing Raindrop.io to our attention. Now, Raindrop is an advanced bookmark manager that allows you to make sense of the bookmarks that you create when browsing the web. Your bookmark collection can quickly become a bit of a tangled web of content, but Raindrop allows you to organize them with folders, tags, and it's accessible from almost any device. So let's take a look. Let's kick off by taking a look at pricing and how much using Raindrop is gonna set you back. Now the good news is that it doesn't have to cost you anything. There is a free tier which gives you a lot of access. You're not limited to a number of bookmarks or collections, which are the equivalent of folders, and all of the essential features that you need to use the app at a base level are included. Now for £30 per year, you can have a pro plan, which covers everything on the free tier, plus a host of other functionality as well. And as we work our way through the screencast, I'll be sure to tell you which elements are pro features, because I've taken out a temporary pro subscription here to allow me to fully evaluate the app. And so far, I'm impressed. If you want to try and not commit to a year, there is a monthly option as well, that's currently £3.23 per month. And if I move across to download now, there are several downloads that we can make. So firstly, we can download a browser extension to allow us to add bookmarks directly from the supported browsers highlighted here. Next, there is an iOS application as well. Now, I'm not gonna demo this, however, because the feature set is almost the same as the macOS version. And then scrolling further down, there is a desktop application as well, which we are gonna be looking at. Now you will need to sign up for an account in order to use it by using this link here. And for once, I haven't actually pre-downloaded the application, so I'm gonna click on the macOS download link. Then I'll allow downloads from this website and I'll let the application download. Now it's not too large, so it shouldn't take too long. There we are. And I'll click on the link to the downloads folder here. I'll drag Raindrop into the applications folder. That's done and ready to go. So let me just tidy up by removing this here. And now I'll open up my app launcher, which in this case today is Alfred. And I'll start up raindrop.io for the first time. I'll click open because it's an application that's been downloaded from the internet. And in order to access it, I'm gonna to need to sign in with my raindrop credentials. So I'm just gonna pause the recording here while I do that. Okay, my credentials are in. Now you can use your Google account or your Apple ID to log in. And I'll show you where to configure this a little later, but I'll click log in right now. And I'm signed in and presented with my raindrop.io account. Now it's the first time I've used this. So currently everything is blank, which is what you will of course see yourself the first time. And this is the desktop application, which allows you to quickly access your bookmarks and carry out some configuration on them as well. Now to fully leverage Raindrop, it's highly recommended you also install the web browser extension as well, because this offers a quick and easy way to capture bookmarks. Now this has to be installed from the Mac App Store. So to show this, I'll just open up Safari back up to the downloads page where we were just now. And if I scroll to the browser extension area, all of the browsers listed here are covered. Now I generally use Safari, uh, so I'll click that. Now I haven't actually used the App Store yet on this machine. I've just recently reinstalled the OS from scratch. So I'll click continue and raindrop.io for Safari appears. I'll click get and then install. All right, I'll just pause and enter my, my credentials here. Okay, that's done. Now I'll click open. And here on this pop-up window, there are actually two elements that we can enable. So we can enable the Safari extension and we've also got a share extension we can use as well. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month 
and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.